morning. Welcome to Chris O'Brien Live House in Sydney, Australia. Today we're going to demonstrate how efficient our surgical team is. Um, we have eight thoracic surgical cases, um, including uh, robotic thymectomy, robotic wedge excision of lung tumor, uh, right pneumonectomy, and five thoracoscopic lobectomies back to back between two theaters. So it's already 8.30. Uh, we better get started. This is the second case of the day. A uh, patient had in Russian chemotherapy and uh, she's undergoing radical right pneumonectomy. Uh, the patient had very central tumour in the right hymen that was biopsy proven to be an carcinoma. She had in Russian chemotherapy because she has a very small R4 lymph node that was biopsy proven to be uh, uh, a N2 disease. And uh, for patients with single station, low volume N2 disease uh, at our institution that undergo induction chemotherapy. This is the uh, third case of the day. Uh, we're doing a robotic uh, wedge excision of a pulmonary metastasis in the right lower lobe of the lung, a young guy who had a previous sarcoma. Uh, he has already had the left side resection done about four weeks ago and recovered quite well. And now we're going to do a right side resection. So, this is our fourth case. The patient is a 76 year old uh, man. Um, but a beast man, he has got a uh, non small cell lung cancer uh, in the right lower lobe of the lung in the uh, posterior medial segment. The tumor is actually quite a sizable tumor. There is no hyla or mediastinal lymph nodes uh, involved on the PET CT scan, and the tumor is in biopsy proven to be adenocarcinoma. So we're going to do a thoracoscopic right lower lobe lobectomy. <laughs> This is a 60-year-old lady with a biopsy-proven neuroendocrine tumor in the um, left lower lobe of the lung. Um, and after the biopsy, she had a pneumothorax, therefore she had a chest strain inserted. Um, now she's having a thoracoscopic left lower lobe lobectomy. Uh, this will be our fifth case at the moment, it's 2.20 in the afternoon. We just finished our fifth case, uh, which is the thoracoscopic left lower lobe lobectomy. The operation took about 30 minutes. Uh, we're going to move on to the next door, okay, which is also a thoracoscopic lobectomy. So this is our uh, sixth case. Uh, the patient has got a biopsy proven uh, right upper lobe tumor. Uh, which is uh, adenocarcinoma. Um, the patient has multiple comorbidities, uh, including ischemic heart disease. Uh, the patient had myocardial perfusion scan, uh, which showed uh, inferior wall, previous inferior wall infarct. Um, also, the patient is diabetic, um, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, and also has COPD. 
the plan for this case is uh, to do a thoracoscopic right upper lobe lobectomy. The tumor is in the posterior segment, the right upper lobe. Uh, I'm going to do this thoracoscopically. Okay. So we're going to go on to the seventh case, and most people have not taken a break. Have you taken a break? Except Tracy, she's had her three lunches already. So this is our seventh case, which is a thoracoscopic metronolol uh, um on a uh, 83. A uh, year old lady who had uh, bios proven and now small cell lung cancer in the uh, basal segment of the left lower lobe. Uh, her lung function is pretty good and uh, she will tolerate a, uh, a lobectomy. So, this is the last case, the eighth case of the day. Um, it is a gentleman who's got a mixed ground glass lesion in the right upper lobe of the lung that has been uh, uh, enlarging um, over a period of uh, six months. So uh, the lesion has been involved seem to be um, a non-small cell lung cancer. The planning is to do a thoracos thoracoscopic right upper lobe lobectomy. Uh, it, it is our last case, the eighth case of the day. Um, we're running a little bit late, uh, but everyone has been working very hard, uh, running two theaters. Uh, so far, all the patients um, who had the operation have been quite good. Um, no evidence of bleeding, the drainage output is quite low, and they're very comfortable in the uh, uh, HDU. And some of the patients are on the ward. So it's almost 6.30, we finished all eight cases, so it's a, it's a, it's a day of solid work uh, involving our nursing team, uh, anesthetist, and also Jamie Tatabanes, my assistant, and myself, with our eight cases. So getting uh, everyone together and uh, to say bye to, to you all. I just like to really thank everyone uh, who put so much work into today's uh, patients. We overall have done eight minimally invasive thoracic cases, including including two robotic cases, one radical pneumonectomy, and uh, five thoracoscopic lobectomy between two theaters involving everyone here. Um, I think we have a very efficient team at Chris O'Brien Lighthouse, and uh, really thank everyone for, for your hard work. Okay.